I specialize in cognitive productivity. Productive academics treat their PDF database as a treasure trove for writing their own papers, giving lectures, and learning. The hidden friction in using a PDF is the effort required to find information about the PDF that's scattered across different apps, folders, and even on the web. Bookends and Hookmark solve this problem by instantly connecting your references to related information. Instead of searching all over the place, just click on a link to get the information you need. Now check this out, it's going to blow your mind. Here I invoke Hookmark on the selected reference. This is the Hookmark window. Notice that the title of the Hookmark window reflects the selection. Okay, so here you can see everything that's hooked. I've previously bi-directionally linked to that reference. And the first item here happens to be an OmniFocus reading plan for this document. Notice that I've previously hooked an email, so that's cool. I can navigate to an email, an Apple Note. I've got another bookends reference that's relevant. This is the mental perturbance folder on my finder. It's actually a paper that I've written, so I've got the source of the paper here. Here's a research gate entry. That's very handy. There's a mind map. When you're reading something complex, you sometimes want to create a mind map or an outline. Now, since this is our paper, I've got the submitted copy. Now, here's another cool thing. These, I said, are called hooks, right? It's because they're bi-directionally linked. Oh, by the way, notice the path information here is written. So I'm going to click on this here to focus on it. And what do I see? Well, now the title bar gets updated to reflect the fact that I've entered or focused on the Word document. You know, obviously I could have opened it. And then I can go back to the previous information. They're bi-directional links. So notice this, the bookends reference here. So I'll just go back to that so that you can see this very cool bi-directional linking. Now you're probably wondering, how do I create these fantastic hooks? Well, it couldn't be easier and we've given you multiple ways of doing it. Here I've invoked the hook mark window again. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy a link to the current selection. Okay, so it's a bookends paper. And I'm going to go into the finder where I've stored a file here, previously created this figures document. It's an OmniGraffle document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the hook to copied link command which is right here, it will basically, you can see here, automatically pops up a bi-directional link back to that bookends entry. Double click on it, there we are. I'm gonna prove it to you. I invoke hook mark on this same entry. And of course, you can see this figure here. And if I double click on it, I will open it. And sure enough, it shows up. But hey, it doesn't stop there. Check this out. I'm gonna invoke hook mark on this particular diagram. Notice that the title here reflects the title there. Okay, now let's reveal this file in Finder. This is universal for any file just about. You can use Hookmark's reveal file in Finder. Bang, it's revealed in the Finder. Now let's suppose that we rename this to Fubarbaz, right, for whatever reason. I'm even going to move it. Okay, I'm going to move it. And now I'm going to go back to this entry here, and I'm going to invoke Hookmark on the same entry. Now, check this out. It's automatically, Hookmark has automatically renamed the link. File links in other software, very brittle. You move files around and you're out of luck. Your links are broken. What use is that? Well, obviously we've solved this problem. So check this out. Double click on this and we're back. So it's seamless. It just works. You don't need to worry. Hey, I've got a dirty little secret for you. Most people hate taking notes about PDFs outside of the PDF itself. Why? Well, it's because Creating, storing, naming these notes is very time consuming. And once you've created them, well, they're stuck in some other app. It might even be the finder. You can't find it. You don't have to use Spotlight. Who's going to do that? You know, they're disconnected from the source. Well, Hookmark solves this problem. With a single keyboard shortcut, Hookmark can instantly create, link, store, and name a note and link it bi directionally. You want to see it in action? Here it is. I'm going to invoke Hookmark on another reference here. Notice that the title of the Hookmark window, which is contextual, right? Reflects the title that I had selected of the reference there. And now I can do, okay, I could do hook to new BB edit, command N, that's my default, but I want to show you the dot 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 version, which is a bit slower because I want you to be able to choose the app in which you will create your note. So now we're going to go to Obsidian, which is quite a popular note taking app these days. Double click or enter on Obsidian, bang, it's done. Now, what has Hookmark done? We've done it all for you. We've inserted the name of the original reference as the name of this note. Makes sense, right? And we've inserted a link 
to the note right here. It's a hyperlink. Well, you can click on it. And you're asked, do you want to open this link? Yes, you do. Okay, now let's invoke hook mark here on the reference again. Notice that indeed we have created a hook. It's bidirectionally linked. Now instead of figuring out where to click here in Obsidian, what we're going to do is it's a uniform shortcut. We bring up the hook mark window and notice that it, this Obsidian document has a hook, a bidirectional link. So we can go here, double click on it, and we're back where we started. So that's the idea is that with hook mark, you can use your favorite note taking app. As long as it's link friendly, you can use hook mark with it. And then you basically just do hook to new and you've created the note and it's stored. And actually you don't even need to worry about where the heck it's stored. It could be anywhere in the finder. You can move it around, you can rename it. It does not matter. The key is that once you've hooked it with hook mark, we take care of the rest. We will do this linking for you so that basically you stay in flow. Do you know about deep PDF links? Well, if you're a researcher, you should. Now put on your seatbelts because we've made it so easy and so useful. Now, a common thing you want to do when you're working in a PDF is you actually want to extract some of the text and refer back to that particular location in the text, right? So I've selected some text here in Bookends because Bookends supports PDF links and Hookmark connects such apps that support PDF deep links. So I'm going to bring up Hookmark here. I've got all this stuff. I want to copy that selection right now. Okay, so I'm going to copy that selection and make a link out of it. Now let's paste the selection that I copied. Command V to paste. Straight in Apple Notes, by the way. And what did I get? I just got the selection. I can prove it. Here's the selection, right? Let's go back to the Apple Note. And this, what's this? It's a deep link, which will not only take me to the PDF, but it will scroll to the particular location in the PDF from which this quote was taken. Now I want to prove this to you so badly that I'm going to select the top of this PDF, okay? And I want you to see this auto scroll. Check this out. Let's click that link. Boom. That was fast. Now, this is page 41 in the PDF. If you want to get to uh, various locations in various PDFs and you need to do it manually with searching, oh, come on, let's face it. People don't do it and their careers suffer. So Hookmark lets you get exactly to the location you want to get in the PDF. You wouldn't believe how much praise we get from people emailing us saying, oh my goodness, this is so helpful. I want to show you something else. Well, it's to reveal file and finder command, but I want to show you how universally useful it is. Bring up Hookmark on this particular PDF in bookends, and now we're going to do reveal file and finder. I've showed it to you before, but I want you to see it again because it's a very common command. The key is that to get from one place to another, you use Hookmark. You don't have to think about, okay, where did the app developer put their reveal file and finder command? Different apps put in different places. Many apps don't even support it. Just use Hookmark. It's a universal way of accessing information that's pertinent to what you want to do. In this screencast, I've been focusing on the reading side of things, but this is really just half of what you do as an academic. The other half is producing. Right? So in this case, I'm working on a paper that has over 250 references in bookends. Okay, So I want you to see that you can use Hookmark and bookends together. So in this particular case, I've got a folder for each section of this very long paper. I'm going to actually enter this folder within Hookmark just to illustrate that I have hooked a bunch of papers here to section 11 that are key to me writing this section. So as I'm writing, I don't have to go fishing through bookends and other apps. I have the key references here that I'm using to construct my argument about data transcendence. And basically I've used that throughout the paper. It basically focuses your attention on the information that's pertinent. So you don't have to search for the information. You just do your knowledge building. So nothing more powerful than that to let your mind do its thing that it does best. Okay, thank you very much for taking some of this in. I really hope that you'll enjoy the combination of bookends and hookmark helping you do your best work.